Well, we're going to try something a little bit different for our evening prayer together tonight. We're going to be going through an old Puritan prayer. Of course, the Puritans would use this old, rich language that's just hard to match. Uh, use big, beautiful words as they as they prayed to God. Uh, and some of you are going to really like this prayer as we go through it, and others of you aren't going to like it at all. And that's okay. We're just uh, we're going to try something different and expose yourself to something we're not quite used to tonight. Uh, but we won't be doing this every week, so don't worry about that. What I really want you to notice as we go through this prayer is not just the beautiful language, but I want you to notice that this prayer goes through that same triple A pattern that we've been working on these last few months. Uh, that pattern that Jesus taught when he taught us to pray, where we acknowledge who God is to begin our prayer. Then we spend time aligning our lives with his will. And then we finally get to the point where we ask him for what it is that we need and for what it is that we want. Um, this is not a very long prayer that we go through, but but notice the movement. It's going to begin by, by acknowledging who God is in a, in a huge way. Uh, and then it's going to spend the bulk of the time aligning ourselves with God's will, because that's really what takes the most amount of effort for us, uh, because we want to wander away from God's will. And then finally, at the very end, there's just a couple of lines where it asks, uh, uh, puts a request before God. And you can see this prayer is called Grace and Trials. Uh, this was written to prepare the person who is praying to, to face a trial, um, not unlike what we're going to be facing as a society in these next few weeks. So we can pray this prayer to God to prepare us for what is to come. Um, we're not going to be mentioning any of our own particular needs as a congregation tonight, uh, and not because there are not important things for us to pray for. Uh, there are for sure. But what this is doing is just reminding us to pray in that triple A pattern so that we can be praying for the things uh, in our congregation all week long, where we acknowledge who God is, we align our life with his will, and then finally we spend time asking him for what it is that we need and even what it is that we want. Uh, because by the time we get to that point after uh, acknowledging God and aligning ourselves with his will, what it is that we need and want are going to be very much the same things that, that God needs and wants from us. Uh, and so that's why we can ask for anything that we want, and God will answer that prayer. So uh, pray with me. I'm going to have the words on the screen so uh, you can pray with your eyes open uh, as we pray together tonight, this Puritan prayer, grace and trials. Let's pray. Jehovah God, thou creator, upholder and proprietor of all things. I cannot escape from thy presence or control, nor do I desire to do so. My privilege is to be under the agency of omnipotence, righteousness and wisdom, patience, mercy and grace. Thou art love with more than parental affection. I admire thy heart, adore thy wisdom and stand in awe of thy power, abase myself before thy purity. It is the discovery of thy goodness alone that can banish my fear. Allure me into thy presence. Help me to bewail and confess my sins. When I review my past guilt and am conscious of my present unworthiness, I tremble to come to thee, I whose foundation is in the dust. I who have condemned thy goodness, defied thy power and trampled upon thy love, rendered myself worthy of eternal death. But my recovery cannot spring from any cause in me. I can destroy, but I cannot save myself. Yet thou hast laid help on the one that is mighty. For there is mercy with thee, and exceeding riches in thy kindness through Jesus. May I always feel my need of him. Let thy restored joy be my strength. May it keep me from lusting after the world. Bear up heart and mind in loss of comforts. Enliven me in the valley of death. Work in me the image of the heavenly, and give me to enjoy the first fruits of spirituality, such as the angels and departed saints know. All this we pray now together in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> 